karate guy in LA. He's a real karate guy, Frank Dukes. And I don't know, because I wasn't there. I just know that it didn't happen. I know that blood sport is ridiculous. That's all I know. But the story goes that he left for a bit. Like he left his school and came back with a fucking trophy. <laughs> and he said, I did the kumite. That's the story that I've been told. I don't, all, all I know is it didn't happen. There's no, there's no record of it. The horse shit that they say at the end of the movie is silly. What do they say? Oh, fastest knockout, 0.873 seconds. You know, something like that. Like, uh, yes, like it's that, that it doesn't happen. That's all ridiculous. Okay, it's all ridiculous. I don't know about today. I mean, he's got to be getting old. But yeah, maybe he might be right, dude. He's probably within it with like forty-five minute drive from here. <laughs> but but uh, I I you know I, again I don't know I don't know but I. I do know that it's horseshit because that shit doesn't happen. You know, you don't go to Hong Kong or wherever they went. Or I didn't get the invite. Yeah, I'm just upset that I wasn't invited. No, but it's it just, it's not, you know, the movie is obviously a movie. And, and uh, from what I can tell, it's classic karate guy that like makes up story and it becomes a legend this is mission. And, but the guy was probably legit but here's the funny thing remember about these bullshit stories there's some they're bullshit but there's some some parts of it that are real like the guy is probably a legit like yeah well no what I'm saying is he's probably legit like pretty decent at karate to a degree now that doesn't mean world champion level but 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 remember if you're if you're decent at something, you can fool a lot of fucking people, you know? And, and I, like, I've seen so much kung foolery in the martial arts in my life that, and I'm not saying they're no good. Like, some of them, they're, they're total bullshit artists, but they're pretty good at what they do. everything, though. So they can grab a student, and they can kind of go, Ugh, and then, ah, and then, ah, and then next thing you know, like, the legend keeps going. Then it just adds to the legend. The ones where the, the, they're, I, I call them goobers. No, you know, the one video, it's no, a, like they they grab a goober, yeah. and then they they hurt him. Like, here, show me something. He grabs me, and I'm like, oh no. They touch him. Well, that, yeah, that that gets into the mind control. Then you get the mind control. Some of that is fake, but it's not fake. In other words, they're almost like hypnotized. Oh, the students, it's a cult. Yeah, it's a cult. Like, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're hypnotized. For but sure. but what's funny is some of them believe they actually are being controlled. No, but like and they know, are being like, controlled. That's like, but they're being controlled. In a, shit. Yeah, they're yeah, not being like, controlled by the submission, by the move, by the martial art technique. They're being no, controlled by that's the, exact, like, the mind. Videos, or you'll see like the uh, the drill, whatever. It's like some uh, bad technique, or whatever. But it's on people that are like. The goobers kind of whatever and every yeah. half an hour it's like dude that is not gonna work at any gym or like yes. any real gym like yes. what the hell are you doing but it has but, like a hundred thousand views but that's shit. the thing yeah. using the word goober if you're a goober you will be controlled by a an instructor who knows some of these martial arts techniques and then you get sold. You you get yeah, into the you cult. You see it on the internet, and, then, and you think it's all good. You believe you it. You believe it. Then you you train Aikido for, you know, eight years, ten years, and then later on you meet a college wrestler, and then you go, well, it just doesn't work on college wrestlers, but it'll still work on a subway <laughs> with a drunk guy who's on crack, and maybe, know, hey, and maybe. Know. Yo, you, it might work though. It might. See, that's the thing. See, I'm honest. Like, some of the shit might work. Now, overall, well, it's not gonna work. Seven million people. There's a lot of people yeah. that are pretty yeah. retarded. Yeah. Guess what? When a guy, when a guy is, you know, cracked out on a subway, he's like a goober. Yeah. You know, okay. when he's drunk, he's a goober. So it does. It'll work on them sometimes. You know, especially then you've got the strength factor. 
right? You've got like, what if the guy who did Aikido is 200 pounds and he's pretty stocky and strong? Yeah. He can make that work, but then you, you know, some 100, 120 pound female who, who did eight years of Aikido, it, it's like, ah, none of this shit works. <laughs> so, that's, you know, no, anyway. That's pretty, and that's like with someone, I mean, not to like hate on anything, but like the kid, the kid stuff, like people don't actually train the kids, right, or whatever. Like everybody has like a black belt when they're like 15 or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what the? Detroit does. Yeah. Like, dude, what the? Yeah. Hell, like, dude? Do, oh, dude. Well, it's like a now, now let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you guys think that Detroit is, do you think he believes his own bullshit or do you think he's scamming people? I think both. Because I think if you don't believe it, then you're just kind of really shitty. Then you're definitely going out. I think he's like, <laughs> like you're not in jujitsu and like does jujitsu because he knows his stuff doesn't work, and so he like. Well, no, but I feel I, like you have you do you know how I think he really believes. I think he really believes. Any of it to sell it that much? No, that's what I'm saying. Like I like I think he feel I think he thinks like some of it works just because there's no way you could sell something that much and not have any. Yeah. Belief yeah, in. I agree with you. Do you know what I'm saying? I agree with like, you. He does believe his shit. Yeah, and and you know what? 100%. And as big as he is, but, he can make some of that shit work on a lot of people. Dude, yeah, if you're, it's you real. The average person's like 100 He's using a lot of wrist locks. Yeah, like, but, but it is stuff real. Stuff. The problem is his demos are ridiculously yeah. staged. Exactly, yeah. And, and yeah. so, but, but can he grab the average guy who knows nothing and dominate them? Yeah. Well, He's a like big, average, strong guy. Average, like, football, like if you played you yeah. know, like football in high school or college or whatever, you can double leg the average dude or whatever. 100%. You know I mean? like, happens just, every day. Yeah, you, you yeah. have more athletic, happens like, every day. More athletic training, I guess. Growing that's, that's, why I, that's why earlier I was talking about the, the technical side of jiu-jitsu. I'm like, oh my God, like stop making it so technical. Like, dude, it's pretty simple. Like you grab somebody's legs, you pull on them and drive, and a guy falls down. Like, sure, if you're ready for some angles and techni technical angles of wrestling, of takedowns, I'll show it to you. But what we need on a base level is just understanding simple things, like and just how, to, how to push somebody to over. Shoot, like, a lot of people don't like, like shooting because they're worried about a guillotine. And then, and then, you know, get across the bodies. So then... Yeah, it's just simple, simple stuff. I don't like shooting. No, but the only way you get better yeah, at not getting you don't like shooting. Like getting I, I hate shooting unless like it's a, a single, but I hate doing straight doubles unless just it's blast and it gets pretty much straight up. Them. If I can top them, top them up, then I'll shoot. Otherwise, I'll keep it Greco style. Is it, you like the Greco, but you did more Greco in the Navy. Yeah. So you see, you like well, the Greco. Language. What's your favorite Greco throw? What's up, guys? Coach Brian here. I got my new quick flip hoodie. PG style, we got the uh, flag on the shoulder. Guys, check this out. This hoodie becomes a backpack. When it gets hot outside, all I have to do is take it off. And then I gotta work on converting it into a backpack. Check this out. Oh shoot, you know what? Hey, yo, Hanner, help me out. Coach Brian, I got you. Check this out. Normally, when you take off your Peterson grappling hoodie, what do you do? You tie it around your waist, right? Goes around your waist. Problem with this is you're gonna get the hoodie wet on the bench. Other option is the European Yacht Club. But this is unacceptable fashionably and cross chokes all day. So look at this, we invented the solution. Hold your Peterson grappling hoodie upside down. In goes your favorite hoodie. One turn, out comes your favorite Peterson grappling backpack. This goes on, you can put stuff inside the backpack. And of course, we don't want it to be too loose. So we have slide and bike technology. You lock it up, look. You lock it up. Now, run, bike, hike, parkour, jujitsu. No matter what you do, that thing is not coming off your back. Get down, quick flip apparel, Peterson grappling. Let's go. I like the, um, I forget what it's called, but the steps on the regular arm throw where you do this one. Yeah. Uh, I kind of step past. Oh, arm spin. In. Yeah, yeah, arm spin. That's a nice I love that one. Yeah. That shit is dope as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some guys get spiked right on their head. <coughs> Some guys get spiked right on their head. Do it slow, and Ryan, just go slow motion to the mat. Don't don't break your neck. I'll try. Right. <laughs> just go slow. Just go slow motion. This is what happens, guys. They don't want to fall. Slam right down. Ryan didn't listen. 
Ryan, like, don't go to your back. Like, you spike on your head. Pretend you're, <laughs> pretend you're a wrestler. Just crunch your neck. What do you want to do? Just pretend you're a wrestler and push your left hand. Don't, don't hurt him. Just stop once you get there. Just stop. So what happens is the guy pulls, and then he hits his head right there. Boom. You see how he hits his head, and then you keep he keeps cranking you and flips you anyway. And then you got to worry sometimes of getting choked though when you hit that arm spin. Yeah. Have you ever been choked? No? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You end up with kind of like I a bulldog. I try to, as soon as I do this, I come out. And yeah. Like, okay. Sometimes you get a bulldog. Yeah, sometimes, you, and you see? Yeah. Yeah, and then sometimes, you know what you have, Angel? You have that, that shoulder lock. Do that. See, look at all this extra grappling that we learned by doing this stuff. Playing around. You have a shoulder lock, you can roll out of it, but if you don't know what you're doing, do that same move and stop. So you don't get rolled, right? You pose, and now he keeps rotating until your arm comes out behind your back, behind the back. No, like, like, just get up, pull your head out. I got, I got a grab on it. Pull your head out, and you have the arm behind the back. Oh. Yeah, I'm not saying you gotta necessarily change your grip. But if I have like this, it's in the armpit. When I rotate, he posts. Oh, oh yeah. You see that? Like, oh, yeah. this shoulder lock can happen. Yeah. Now, obviously, a good guy is just gonna uh, roll. roll. You know, and then as he rolls, I have my shoulder, I can drive up in, and then I'm gonna sweep this hand right back through. As I hit pies, and bring it through to this way. Or the other option being, you know, going all the way the into the double leg. Like that. But yeah, sometimes that arm, that arm can get a little tweaked and cranked out behind the back on that arm spin. Try it. But again, it also, again, we're assuming that. I'm, I'm talking about people who don't know how to roll, right? They're, they don't, jiu-jitsu people typically know how to roll because they're always getting out of kimuras, omoplatas, stuff like that, but people don't know anything. You bring that arm out behind the back, even like that, yeah. Just pull it out behind the back like a cop. Like, pretend you're a cop right now. Just okay. bring it out behind, just so get up, get, get behind his back. Just pull his arm out, hand it Yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying? And then now you've got his arm behind his back and a guy on the street doesn't know, you're not gonna do this shit on the street. What am I talking about? Fucking but my point is, <laughs> hey, hey, all right, now let's, make, the now let's make it street effective. <laughs> now let's make it street. I don't know, let's say you were here. Black don't don't even throw the guy. Like, don't even throw him. Just, just go into the arm spin, pull the guy's arm out, and put it behind his back. Put him in a guillotine and go, hey, think, what's oh, going on? Oh, what's going on here? What the hell? Hey, what's going on? Hey. Who pushed me? <laughs> I use it as a fake and I get the back like that. I use it as a fake and I get like that like that because they're so used to to stop the throw, putting the hips in. Yeah. Yeah. You know sure. how to, usually if, if you were to be on this side, whatever side you want, right? Yeah, so that hips in. Uh, that's that's what you should stop do. the throw, right? That's what you should do. So yes. they get so they get so used to it. So when they yes. pass, Yes. Then you come into the body. Yep. yep. Okay, that's what. Just what? Can you, uh, like, you're, like, over here? You have it right here, right? Yeah. That's that. That oh. happens all the time in grappling. Oh. All the time. Okay. okay. Guy, guy like, goes for arm throw, arm swing. Right here. Yes. Yeah. It happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, but you're fighting. Like all that. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the thing I do is I'll do it once or twice on them, like in a practice. Yeah. They'll know that I love that shit. So when I go to put their hips in, I'll go boom. Oh, and I hump forward. Oh, okay. And, I I just miss it. Oh. and you're not hesitating. You're immediately whoop. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's the that? Yeah, you yeah. can do it both ways. Oh no, don't tell, don't show the judo guys this. They don't like that. No, no, no. Yeah. I was about to ask him. I was about to ask They don't. They, they, they think it's like improper. That's they, what I was thinking. They, they, they don't do Sam. Not enough like leverage. This, huh? this is. It, it's one of the big, bigger differences between judo and wrestling. Like yeah. so you're judo you're likes. Not enough leverage. They, they don't like going so, through. Like I'm they here, don't. You can do it this way they too. don't prefer to so rotate deep. like this. Right. I to go through. Right um. Everything in, 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 in judo is going to be different. Right. So, 
anthro. So it's not, they don't like that idea because it's just a failed throw. In, in judo, they, they, it would be a failed throw. The guy would just defend and you wouldn't be able to get him to his back for ipon. Because your hips aren't in front of him. Yeah, like, like this happens. Like when you start to go through on an arm spin, like I just push your hip through and yeah. now as you try to drop to the mat, see in, oh, in Greco, I would, okay. in Greco, a guy still rotates it, but when you do it, it's not gonna get Epon, but you could get a submission. The way I showed it, you know? Like you, oh, could, you could crank the arm. That's it? Not, not quite like that, but what I'm saying is, so you just go flat to the mat, don't bend over so much. As I rotate around, That's all you need. this so switch to the body. could be a submission. Oh, you understand? Yeah, it could be yeah, a submission. Yeah, yeah. But remember, in, in, in judo, you can't do these uh, bent arm locks. They've got to be like straight arm locks. It, there was a time when this was done, and it could be a submission if you go to your back. But you can't do yeah, but bent not, arm locks anymore. Yeah. No, they're not, they're not doing uh, kimuras and... Uh, they're not doing omoplatas, you know. In, in Sambo, you, you know, you'll see like uh, the reverse omoplata a lot. You'll see stuff like that. They can but, a lot. You know, in, in, in judo, it's the straight arm lock. Yeah, straight arm oh, lock. Okay. But um, yeah, they don't they don't like the arm spin. That's a Greco thing. Greco Greco does it all the time. Do you like that? I don't like the arm spin. He said he likes it. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I prefer, I prefer the, the shoulder throw on top. Huh? You have a lot of space to miss, no? Or like a lot of like... It's of effective. I'm not saying it's not effective. I just don't like putting myself in that... That... That, uh, that bulldog. Bulldog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the guys... When, I, when, when you start to grip and you go through... I, I, don't, I don't like this. Yeah, but, but to each its own, I mean like... I could, I could get fucking suplex. So, I mean like there's... There's so much to talk about, right? Yeah, there's so much. Look at these guys. Sometimes if I'm here, I will go here. And I will, because he can't pick me up. Yeah, because that sucks right there. Yeah. But I won't do it if he's standing up. Yeah. Because he's taking his hip and hips away from That's how you get called So I can't. Yeah, recover it. I actually like that. Is that, is that, is that, somebody get you in a bulldog? A bulldog. A couple bulldogs. I just ripped out of it though, you know, Goober style. <laughs> Goober style. Goober style, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this fun we're going through. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time with more great stuff.